Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're starting a new series of videos called, Is This PLR Product Worth Getting? Now, before we go ahead and get started on this, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, have you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now here we are at plrdatabase.net and we're going to be, by the way, the link for this will be in the description down below. Now let's go down and have a look at the very bottom because this is going to be able to bring us up to the most exclusive products that they have. Now, this one happens to be the latest one, and it is a private label rights. But let's go down to the very bottom, and we'll have a look at some... See here, it says here, Explorer Exclusive Products. Well, you can do that. And I'm going to have a look at this particular one right here. Now, it was published on the 30th of November, which means it's probably the latest one on there. So we can click on that and have a quick look at it. We'll have a look at what's involved in this one. With this one, you get... This goes through the various topics and so forth, but what you get is you get a high quality ebook, checklists, resource cheat sheets, ready to go sales letter, thank you page and legal pages, as well as HQ advertising banners, as well as high quality that is, uh, fully professional source graphic files and a license pack. Now your PLR license pack comes with PLR, master resale rights, resale rights and personal use rights. Make sure you do follow the rules because otherwise you could end up in trouble. Now, you can add this product to paid membership sites for personal use only. You can pass on personal use rights. You can pass on resale rights, pass on master resale rights and can be sold for $7 or less if you want to sell it as is. But you can also add this product to e-commerce sites, can bundle with product packages, can be given away as a bonus can give away product to your subscribers, can change edit sales page and opt-in page, can change and edit graphics, and can edit content of the product. Now that's what you always want to look for. Now, can you, uh, no, you cannot sell your private private label rights, no, you cannot add to free membership sites, and you, you cannot just pass away, the give away the product. And you cannot add to e-commerce sites with a paid membership site, personal use only. So as you can see, it's personal use only if you want to put it on a paid membership site. So what you can do on the other hand is you can edit the product and that is what you really want to be able to do. So I have already downloaded it and to download it, all you need to do is click on this download button right here. Because I've already done that, I'm not going to waste my time in doing that. I'm sure you can figure out how to do that yourself. And of course, all you need to do is once you've downloaded the folder, right click on it, hit extract all, and then you can extract it to wherever you want to save it. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the actual product itself. Okay, so here we are in the actual product itself area. And of course, you've got the important please read. Let's have a quick look at that and see what they're talking about. Now it's got, it talks about the different rights that it gives that you've got in the, pro, in the package. And you can have a bit of a read of that a little bit later on. Now let's have a look at the actual product itself. So you've got your choice. Now when you download this one, you have a look at this one and it comes through with the ebook. Now that will be an uneditable ebook, this one. So when you get the ebook, it'll just come with the PDF. And of course we're in the master resale rights section. You'll also have the same with all of the check the cheat sheets, checklists, and resource cheat sheets and so forth. Now, the one we're going to be looking at is, I'll show you what the personal use rights product looks like as well. So let's have a look at that, just that, and all you get with this one is you get an ebook, checklist, resource, cheat sheets, and your license. Now, one we're personally looking at here is your private labor rights. Now with the private labor rights, when you have a look at this one, you go here and you also get the source file. You not only come up with the the actual ebook itself, but you itself but you also get the source file which you can then edit to your heart's content let's have a quick look at this so when you have a look through this you can have you can scroll down of course you've got your disclaimer just there 
and you're going to have all of your table of contents just there and you can have a bit of a read through so what i would strongly suggest is go through this and completely change this up go through get your quill bot out and start having a look through and changing this up quill bot or word tune whichever one you have and start changing this to your heart's content my suggestion would be change as much as you can and make sure it is relevant to what's been written here yeah, so basically you can have a look at what they're writing here so now you've got frequently asked questions and this is something i would never really seen before and this is something that really piqued my interest i thought frequently asked questions and you can add that to every single ebook that you create and that on its own could very well be a chapter where you have frequently asked questions and that on its own could very well be a chapter very easily because as you can see this has got quite a few questions and answers you've got chapter two how to write an ebook for your amazon it's, it's telling you how to actually write an ebook you have a read through make sure it's well written now let's go have a quick look at the intro of this one if you enjoy writing for fun or money you may consider ebooks electronic books are increasingly incre are increasing in popularity but there is still a limited market for them not everyone likes reading books from their computer now that's well written and it's been written by somebody who is actually english speaking which is really good now one of the other things we need to look at is the sales page one thing i will say is that it's a very generic sales page now the mini site is as i said very generic now i'm going to first of all open up all of these just so as it makes it easier click off that i do this primarily because it just becomes a lot less funky if i open up these here and allow them to be seen i don't know why but it just makes it easier for your computer de to deal with. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to open this in Chrome. There we are. Open that up in Chrome. And here it comes. We'll just get rid of that one. And wait a moment and it will pop up. So I'm just going to pause the video until it does. Oh, here it is straight away. Okay, so as you can scroll through, dear friend, have you ever tried to learn as much as you can about becoming successful in the subject of addiction? This is why it's important to read the sales letter when you first get these, because it has nothing to do with addiction and selling Kindle ebooks. So this is, as you can see, it's a very generic one, and you can say successful in the subject of selling kindle ebooks and he said maybe you've tried but you haven't been successful with all the different information out there and the success of learning uh what's correct requires more than just a few days or weeks learning uh, learning from a professional is the, is an advantage and can help you be successful in your overall goals it's not a very specific it doesn't go into specifics if you want to, I would strongly suggest that you would add more information in here so it becomes more niche specific. Is Make it a little bit more readable as well, a lot less generic because it reads really generically and because it reads so in such a generic way, it's obvious. So if you make it, say for example, when knowing all about the, this topic, when knowing all about, and you can just change the word this topic when you know all about selling ebooks on Kindle, Amazon Kindle, from A to Z, the magic begins. So you would get rid of the word this topic and you would throw in what the ebook is all about. Now, what I would strongly suggest you do is once you have gone over to Coolbot and you have changed the product up, then you can then turn it into a video course. Now, I would highly suggest that you change perhaps 80 to 100% of the ebook so as it becomes more unique what i would highly suggest you do is you go to quillbot or wordtune or one of those ones that you use and change it up to make it more unique now i have a link for quillbot down in the link down in the description down below if you want to have a look at it now also too 
you can go through and have a look here change up all the generic terms and make it more relevant so as people know it's specific to that particular product let's have a look at what else is involved in this let's open that up okay so you got your mini site you also got your advertising banners if you want to advertise you can have a look at the png files of this and you can have a look at the di different banners that they have you also have over here your source graphics these are what go part of the mini site as well as your ebook and so forth now these are ones that are obviously that's in psd which is photoshop design but in this particular case i've got it as this one here so you can use a cd to represent a video if you wish to and you can go over here and of course you can just have a look at the various things they have you've got your banners of course and that's also in psd file as well because i use gimp most of the time it shows up as gimp and here is your license now would i say this is worth buying i would say yeah definitely this is definitely worth purchasing because you not only get your master resale rights personal use rights and resale rights but you also get private labor rights which allow you to be able to change the product and you can also turn it into a video course as well as turn it into a powerpoint course if you wish to and then therefore you can also add this to somewhere like udemy or Skillshare or one of those places and you can actually sell it as a unique product of your very own so you can have a look at doing that now it's already been pre-created so you don't have to do the research it's already been done and all you really need to do is just change the words around as I said I've got links to Quillbot and WordTune down in the description down below and if you can change the majority of the ebook then that is really worth looking at. Now, I highly recommend always change content. Always change the content because especially if you're going to be selling on places like Udemy or somewhere like Skillshare or even creating an ebook and put it selling it as a book on Amazon KDP, make sure you change the content because that is the key. Change it so as it is completely unique. Now also too, if you want to be able to have a look at PLR database, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Okay, that's all there is for this particular video. If you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Okay guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.